What's up everyone, it's your boy Rico and today we're going to be talking about the high grade Gundam Aerial. Alright, to start off we have the Gundam Aerial, the first in the Witch from Mercury lineup. As you see, the box, high grade, really nice quality. Let's take a look at the kit, shall we? So here I have it on the the Daryl the Daryl Baldes stand actually. So right off the jump, this kit does not come with a stand. The Daryl Balde comes with a stand, and that's the stand that I'm using. Interesting how they choose which kits come with a stand and which don't. So that to me was curious. Um, Ariel is supposed to be the front and center Gundam of the new Witch from Mercury series and yet it's the kit that doesn't come with a stand so that you can give it some cool poses like so in fact it was the Daryl Balde interesting choice Bandai here we are let's take a closer look at the body here so as you see I have it extended out and there is a good amount of flexibility with the legs themselves the joints I mean let's, let's show this so this is like basically straight down and then check out that it's almost I want to say it's like a 85 degree uh, perpendicular it's ridiculous these high grades are getting better and better and I'm glad that they chose the witch from mercury line to really improve their high grade quality. I think it was a very uh, obvious, very intelligent choice. And obviously it's been working. If you've been keeping up, you know that the sales are skyrocketing for these kits. Everyone is finding them to be beautiful, immaculate. So continuing on, we'll see the rotation here uh, of the joints now mine are a little sticky because I top coated them already or I've top coated the kit already but you can see here that um, right here on the forearm to the bicep you have pretty good flexibility and what I like about this is that this kit this Gundam doesn't have anything in that bicep area that interrupts the movement of the forearm in the previous uh, video with the Exia there was the shield that was attached to, I think it was the bicep or the forearm, one of the two. And when you start moving it, that protrusion of what's locking the shield in or the weapon basically hits the bicep and it stops the rotation that you can do. So there's minimal rotation for that kit, but here you have a full on flex. It's wonderful. You can also go completely straight and even bend back a little. So as you can see here, it's, you can, Bend out your elbow a little bit, and there's a flexibility there. Your shoulder joint here, you can see that it's actually, and I'll do a zoom in shot for this one, but the rotation here is that you can actually spin this guy all the way around. That is neat. On some of the older high grade kits, as soon as you started trying to rotate this shoulder, the joint would pop off. I know that uh, most recently, when I had given uh, an old an old mobile suit that I'd given my wife, I was trying to pose it for her, trying to be cute. And as soon as I started posing the arm and the legs, the joints just popped off. The legs came off flying, the arm went off, and I was like, okay, these old high grades are not it, chief. Oops. <laughs> um. That, that doesn't speak to the quality of it, it just speaks to me rough housing. Um, that goes back in right there. Yeah, so rotation here. The other thing that I was saying about like some kits with um, the shields and stuff, this one does not conflict with the rotation or with the articulation of the arm. It's 
right here on the outer side. So again, no restriction with the bicep and you have full mobility. What's even really cool is that the arm has a separate joint from the shoulder. So as you saw on this side, I could rotate the shoulder all the way across. Here, I'll show that, actually I'll do it on this one so the shield doesn't conflict, but if you straighten that out, hold the shoulder here, you can rotate this 360. So the shoulder has a separate joint and then the arm from the shoulder has a separate joint. Awesome. It means you can do a lot of poses with this thing, have a lot of fun. What's really cool about the aerial is that the aerial itself has this, I don't even know what to call it, but basically there's a piece right here where like your armpit would be and it has a little bit of flexibility. So it's a piece that can adjust outwards on top of the shoulder rotating, on top of the arm rotating. So you'll see here, and I'll show you in a zoom in, that that piece right there, essentially what it does is it allows you to stick out your shoulder. So normally you would have a joint here and then your arm would rotate, but your your chest, right? You, you wouldn't be able to flex that forward. But because the aerial has that, you can essentially push your shoulders out which is cool for the kit, high grade kit, that's cool. So as you see here, pushed forward, pushed back. So you can do the back and do the forward. It's a cool kit, Bandai. You're doing it good, keep it up. Um, right, so moving on. This kit also has um, rotation on the head piece here, full 360. However, the one downside is um, you can move the neck up a good amount, but you cannot move the neck down too much. Oh, I lied. Maybe when I was posing it, it was giving me trouble. I completely lied. <laughs> Apologies. So the neck has a joint itself that allows you to basically click it into a couple positions. So as I'll demonstrate here, this is full back. And then as I push forward, you'll see the head comes down, but now watch the neck. Ready? Pushed. So it has a separate joint that allows you to essentially cock the neck forward or push the neck forward. And then, um, yeah, so it allows you to do some pretty interesting head poses. You can look straight down. You can look, well, you can't look straight up, but a fairly amount up, I suppose. Uh, so good for that. The other thing that this kit has is a rotating center here. Now this is something that I've noticed on some of the older kits that I've had. So the older kits usually have just like a pin or a couple pins and they insert into the torso. So the bottom part inserts to the upper chest torso area and then that's it. So when you're trying to rotate, um, it doesn't connect very well. There isn't a lot of flexibility here. But here, this design is so good that it's it's got its own separate joint. So I can rotate this 360. I mean, look at this. Rotate it 360 all the way around. I can even move it back a little bit, forward a little bit. There's a little bit of play there, right? So that's neat. The leg joints, I've already told you. If you can get it all the way across, let's see if it has full rotation, huh? Let's see. Spinny, spinny. It does indeed. So it uses like a two joint um, system. So you might be able to see it here. But essentially it has a joint where it connects to the lower torso and then another joint that connects the leg. So you can rotate the leg around and then bring it, bring it down and um, into other positions. So it's really cool. I mean, you can make it do forward kicks, <laughs> right? Then your knee has a really good rotation here. Check this out. You can do knee ups with the aerial, <laughs> right? Um, I know some kits have more detail back here and, or maybe that's just the design flaw, but it does stop you from putting your knee all the way in. I mean, look at this. The heel is essentially touching that thigh right there. Really good extension, really good articulation. I mean, look at this. Then your ankle, okay, I just popped that off, but <laughs> The ankle has pretty decent 
flexibility. I mean, you can do a toe kick, you can do almost a heel kick if I keep popping this off, you know, you can do a full heel kick, point. Um, the knee does not have a separate joint, so you cannot rotate that. The ankle does not have a separate joint, so you cannot rotate that. But you don't really need to, I mean, you know, each leg is pretty good and articulated. The other cool thing about this kit, and now we're going to talk about the mechanics that it has. So apart from having that uh, ultra flexibility, the Gundam Aerial has, the Gundam Aerial does have the gunned bits. So as you see here, I have it in shield format. It's in shield format. However, each of these pieces does come off and attaches to the Gundam. So. I'll show you that next. there you have it so to finish this off I top coated the Gundam Ariel with a flat top coat um, I was deciding whether to do semi gloss on some pieces or a semi gloss on the whole thing but I really like how the flat matte gives it that smooth finish and I think when I move on to the Ariel rebuild I'll change it up and do a semi gloss and see how I can compare between the two. Right now though I love this smooth finish. I love how the white and the soft blue really combine. I will say this though for the beam saber I did use a gloss top coat and I gotta be honest I don't see much of a difference in that between the other saber um, but that could just be me. You guys let me know if this looks like it's a gloss finish to you. Before I forget, I will also mention that here you can see that I did the Perfect sc Score 6 stickers. Now you do have the option to put stickers in and then put these transparent, um, these transparent pieces down. Or if you don't want to use the stickers, you have the option where these pieces come with the, I don't know, the digital look already on it, and you can just insert that. I opted for the red permit score six, and you also have the option to have the green stickers, so it looks more normal. This looks like battle ready Gundam Ariel, and when she's not in battle ready formation, you can choose to do the other stickers. Now. I chose the Permit Score 6 because I really like the red aesthetic, so 
that was my decision there. The Gundam Aerial also comes with the uh, beam rifle, <laughs> and it comes with comes with the beam rifle from the show with a transparent blue on it. As you see here, it's got a really nice transparent blue. The rifle looks really really nice, and I think that it's complementary to the kit itself. Other than that, it doesn't come with any other weapons, and it definitely doesn't come with a stand. That's going to be it for my review. I will say this, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, even though it didn't come with a stand. I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. This kit is impeccable. Anybody who has been leaning away from high grades, I say that the Witch from Mercury high grades kits, so far with the aerial alone, has been worth it. It's much stronger it's much more flexible and I feel like if you're looking for a good kit valuable and something you can pose with and have fun and not bog you down like a perfect grade or even a master grade this high grade line so far definitely worth the money check out the witch from mercury kids if you haven't already and let me know what you think